Hello and welcome to the session. My name is Mansi and I am going to help you with the following question. The question says an experiment involves rolling a pair of dice and recording the numbers that come up. Describe the following events. A. The sum is greater than 8. B. Two occurs on either die. C. The sum is at least 7 and a multiple of 3. Which pairs of these events are mutually exclusive? So let us see the solution to this question. First of all, let us find out the sample space for the event A, B and C. But first of all, we see that if a die is thrown, it can turn up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here, a pair of dice is rolled. So sample space for the event when a pair of dice is rolled will be 1, 1. That is getting 1 on the first die, 1 on the second die. Similarly, 1, 2. Getting 1 on the first die and second on 2 on the second die. Similarly, till 1, 6, that is getting 1 on first die and 6 on the second die. Similarly, getting 2 on first die and 1 on the second die. And so on, we will have till 6, 6. So this is the sample space of the event when a pair of dice is rolled. Now we write down the sample space for the event A. Event A is the sum is greater than 8, so we'll consider all the sample points from this sample space where the sum of these two are greater than 8. So the sample points for the sample space of event A will be 3, 6, 4, 5, 4, 6, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5 and 6, 6. So we see that in all these sample points, sum of these two is greater than 8. Now we write down the sample space for event B. We see that event B is 2 occurs on either die. So the sample space for event B will be 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2 and 6, 2. Now we write down the sample space for event C. Now event C given to us is the sum is at least 7 and a multiple of 3. So from the sample space this we see that such points are such sample points are 3, 6, 4, 5, 5, 4, 6, 3, 6, 6. Now in all these points we see that their sum is at least 7. That is their sum is 7 or more than 7 and all of them they are multiple of 3. Now we have to tell which pairs of these events are mutually exclusive. First of all we consider A intersection B. We see that A intersection B is equal to 5 because here and here. No sample points are common to these two sample spaces. So the intersection is 5. Now we consider B intersection C. Again this will be equal to 5. And if we consider A intersection C, we see that this is 3, 6 is common in both of them. 4, 5 is common. 5, 4 is common. 6, 3 is common and 6, 6 is common. So we see that A intersection C is not equal to 5. So our answer to this question is A and B, B and C are mutually exclusive. So this is our answer to the question. I hope that you understood the question and enjoyed the session. Have a good day.